Oh. Listen, you can't go in the pool right now. I'm fixing the stairs. Clearly, and you, it's cold. It's all well water, and it's absolutely, you can go in there if you want, but it's freezing. But I want to go in the pool! Hi, I'm Aaron Badochka. Have you ever made your kid do some bad acting at home just so you could justify to your wife purchasing an expensive new toy for yourself so you can correct issues just like this at home? Well, if you're like me, the answer is yes. And the Chasing M2 might just be the underwater drone for you. I kid, of course, uh, there are lots of uses for drones like these to sail under the water, boat inspections, building inspections, being able to grab things off of the ground. There is a whole plethora of them. In fact, you guys may have seen on my channel before that I've been using underwater drones for quite some time. One specific brand uh, 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 for several years, and now I want to kind of branch out and look at what else is on the market because this one also has a claw. And here it is guys, the Chasing M2. I've had my eye on this for a very long time and when I saw that they also came out with a robotic claw, I knew that I wanted to explore this machine even further. Look over here. Yes, very similar to another drone I've looked at before, but this one has a lot of different features. I'll go over them in future videos, but today I just want to get this in the water. I've never actually um, sailed with this one under the water. I've got several feet of water here, uh, and I do have it drained down just because I'm fixing the stairs, but I figured this was a good opportunity to see it against the bottom uh, and for me to practice and have something, <laughs> thanks to my, to my son Morris for sacrificing uh, his um, zoom boom there, which is all made of plastic. We're going to go and get it, and I'm also going to see if I can kind of thread the needle here uh, with the floaty and see if I can get the drone to come up in between that. This can shoot up to 4K. There's lots of really cool technical videos out there. Uh, I'm not going to make this too technical. I just want to have some fun. All right, away we go. Good luck. First, first dive. Let's unlock it here. Unlocking the motors. Stabilizes. Look at that immediately stabilizing in the water guys this has eight thrusters my other drone had six thrusters on there look at this the claw opens up with the push of this button it's how long you actually push the button is how long it opens for so first push opens all the way now that's just because I push it and let it out now I'm gonna push it again if I push it again it stops see that so you just need to do a series of clicks now that's, I, I don't know, I'll have to get used to that, of course, right? But I think this is a great opportunity to try and swim around. Let's see how it does. Wow, it is so precision. So up and down on my right stick makes it go up to the surface or diving. Look at the speed and precision on this. With the eight thrusters, it makes it stationary. This is the default setting right now. Wow. I know I can hear it in the comment section already. Well, it's good to be able to go back and forth and left and right, but how easy is it uh, to tilt or spin or yaw or whatever you need to do? And you notice these great dials on either side of the radio. Watch this on this dial. Oh, super nice and precision. And then it holds it. And then on the other side, the other dial, what if you just did a roll? A roll to the other side. Look at the maneuverability, guys. That's insane. Let's go get the zoom boom. I want to grab it now. Dun 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 dun. I just need like a big red blob of blood to come up from the pool, but I don't want to frig with my filter. Okay, so now I'm having to look on the screen because with all that prop wash and me trying to get used to this, yeah, look at this. 
okay, going forward, and then learning how to use the machine. So, yep, going forward. Oh, I'm going up. I love that it's floated to the bottom. Going to the bottom. Ah! Oh, this is going to take some practice, okay? Then looking up. Looking up. This is way harder now that it's on the bottom. Da -na 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 -na. Looking through my screen. Looking through the screen. Dang it. Got to get my, my direction proper. Ah, oh, the claw just opened more. I can do this, just focus. Come on, chasing. Okay, this I can maneuver any direction. I'm just very poor at negotiating this controller so far. Come on, let's get it closed a little bit. Okay, so now I got to back up. Let's take it to the top. <laughs> Moving forward. Oh, which direction? There we go. At least I can see it on the surface. Thank God. Look over here. Because I'm holding the camera at the same time. There we go. I was able to use the controller. Look at this amazing thing. Absolutely cool. I'm just keeping it right there for the thumbnail just so we can see it. But this thing is maneuverable. Dinner. Woohoo! Over the cable, over the cable. I'm starting to get a hang of the controller actually. I'm trying to keep that out of the out of the water there for you so you could see. But it's definitely a two-handed machine. Let's bring it over to the stairs because I'm doing a terrible job for you guys so you can see it. Ugh. Okay, I just straightened it out. Now I'm kind of bringing it up to the top. Oh, awesome. When I go left and right on the controller, I can actually make it yaw as well right now. Or roll, pardon me. Is it the same? Both? Woohoo! Ta da! Da 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 da! Thank you very much. You may let it go. Woohoo! <laughs> that was super cool. Well, there you have it in a nutshell, folks. I actually have a ton of uses that I'm gonna be using this for. There are so many lakes around where I live. Lots of history in the province of Nova Scotia. I'm also surrounded by ocean. Uh, so I'm gonna be able to go out and uh, film lots more with this. In fact, there are hidden artifacts around here that I would love to go and hunt. So let me know if you're interested in me going out to the ocean do or any kind of lakes to do any treasure hunting. Are you a treasure hunter yourself? Let me know uh, in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go back and practice some more and then fix my stairs so I can do a little bit uh, uh, more acrobatic works. Maybe do a comparison video in the future and we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have fun with RC. You know I always do, even though today was inside. It's raining outside. Wait, are you recording right now? Am I recording right now? <laughs>